I have been thinking a lot about marketing over the last few days. Not going to lie. Uh, and I have, I've done a lot of sales in my life. I've done a lot of creepy sales. I've also done a lot of uh, really heartfelt sales. I think all of us engage in sales in some way or other. And really wondering about what marketing means to me as an encouragement coach has really kind of set me on my pins a little bit. And what I mean by that is, um, I, I love doing the work that I do as an encouragement coach because I believe that there are unexpected moments of hope that can surprise us when we need it most and when we least expect it. And that matters to me. In each of the jobs and positions that I'd held in my life where I engaged in sales, uh, I, I, I kind of saw it as a, as a challenge to find the soulful experience in that transactional uh, encounter. And I don't think that this should be any different. The world right now is, well, the best word that comes kind of fits it, is fraught. The world is fraught. There is so much going on. The amount of outrage out there is outlandish. <laughs> and this is a time when language can sometimes be this incredible barrier, almost like quicksand between us. But it is also a time when I believe that language means the most and it can become the garden in which we grow that which nourishes us. I believe that. That's why I do what I do as an encouragement coach. It's not the the sales. It's not the tricks. It's not the expertise. It's not the classes. It's not the it's the meaning that we make in the midst of the most disheartening story that we encounter and the opportunity that is present for us to discover what that root is inside us that can burrow through the thickest earth that can grow around the hardest rock, and that can survive the flood that may be coming. All of these things are things that I believe. So how do I pile that into a sense of marketing? I guess I convey myself as honestly and as forthrightly as I can. With all of the experiences, all of the expertise and the skills, the creativity and the intuition, and that heartfelt belief that no matter what may be happening right now in the world, whatever you have experienced, whatever we all have experienced in the past, we can not only just survive it, we can get beyond it. We can thrive in our lives and make our lives our own. And that language can become something that is living and fruitful in our experience. So how do I fit all of that into marketing? I think that's the challenge. And I wanted to share some thoughts because I've been thinking about it. So I use a camera that's, it's not a great camera, sorry, not a fantastic image, a little grainy, don't have any makeup on, it's cold as heck up in this room, so I'm wearing lots of warm things. This is just who I am. But there's some thoughts that have been rolling around in my head and I wanted to share them with you. So that's it for today. May there be moments of kindness along the way, even if that kindness that you find happens to be 
for that remarkable person in your life, you. Take care.